yeah, beautiful people, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this within minutes. So at first I'm starting with my black opal in the shade Walnut. Then I'm gonna go in with my black radiance in the shade Ebony to matte it out, you know, give it that fresh look. Then I'm gonna go in with my Bed Night Caramel shade to start off my highlight. Now, from there guys, I use my black opal in the shade Honey. Now, guys, I really love black opal and I did, I did say that it is a drugstore, so guys, everything right here is cheap. Now, as you can see, I'm showing you guys how I really do my highlights. I mean, it's nothing big, it's very simple, but if you guys want a more detailed video on how I do my highlight, comment, tell me, and I'll do it. Now, I use... Prisma. No, guys, do you remember Prisma? I never remember it until I went online and shot Miss A. E and I saw it for $1 and I was like, alright, boom. But I used that in the shade Caramel to, as my base highlight, my base baking powder. Baking powder. Baking powder. But anyways, that's what I use as my base to highlight and stuff like that. And it's really good. Going with my MAC Embark powder. Yes, it's from MAC and the shade is Embark. Now I use it because it's the closest thing to a really nice contour for my skin. And it's really dark and you know, nothing too harsh. And I really like that. So that is what I use. Now, guys, I'm just using a random brush, nothing specific. Uh, it's not an angled brush, it's nothing, just a rumba, ran, rumba, random brush. Uh, and I just like blot it in press it in my skin wherever I want my contour and guys this is my favorite favorite part of makeup contour contour oh guys before I go into my embark I didn't show you guys but I use um this darker shade from from Ben Nye. I don't remember its name but I'll put it in my description box and you'll see it alright so that is all I'm doing and then I'm going along with my with my Ben Nye powder to just kind of enhance my highlights in the shade, what's the shade again? In the shade Sienna. And guys, all of this information will be in my description box. So this is how my face looks. And once again, I'm just enhancing my contour, making sure that it is good and neat and you know it well look up. Yes, and so now guys, I'm using a darker shade and it's just a random palette. I don't even remember the name because the name's trash off, but I'm using a darker shade in black. Black, like guys, be careful with the amount of black. Like, be really careful because you don't want to be looking like, you know, I don't even know. But be careful with the, with the amount and then I will just go and just use red like an earth red it's just kind of like a little bit below my my eyebrow bone just a little bit below it just to kind of create that transition don't, don't worry guys I'll just blend it out I will blend it out it's a little bit messy but I will blend it out I wasn't using any tape but what I usually do is to use my concealer to just clean it up my hair needed to be detangled. I didn't have any time to do it, and uh, like my hair is all messed up. But guys, it's just a girl thing. I was having a really bad period at school. I know you guys will understand. It's again, a random palette, and it's the same gold shade that I'll be using on my cheekbones to highlight those areas, my cheekbones and my highlights as well. And I'll be putting it on my nose because, guys, you know your girl loves gold. She loves to gold up. Yes, that is me. So, guys. This is me just blending it all out, making sure that it is, you know, all right and stuff like that. I, I, like, I love gold. Like, most of my makeup has gold in it. I'm sorry. I'm a gold girl. So, gold and black is my favorite, my favorite two combinations. And sometimes I really do go in depth. Now, with your tear duct, guys, I've been seeing a lot of people doing this. They don't blend it up properly. No, like, nothing is wrong with using, with putting a little eyeshadow on your tear duct. But blend it out. Blend it out properly because you just don't want it to seem as if you just put some things on your tear duct. No, that is not cool. Right? So as you can see, I'm just about to just blend it out. Get it intact. And this is the final look. This is the final look. It's nothing too big. It's very realistic. 
nothing out of the ordinary. You guys can do it. It's very simple. And yes. I like with my lips, guys. I just use a dark reddish purple. I mean, I'll link it. I will link it in this in the description box and you'll see it. So guys, please do follow me on Instagram. It is Money Finley. At Money Finley on Instagram, it's very like simple. It's my name. So guys, just follow me on Instagram and I'll follow you. Mwah. See you again. Very nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see any other, any other video, guys, you know that your girl got you. I will make sure that it is there. Now, guys, I know I didn't use any blush because I'm not really much of a blush girl. But I really I use it every now and then. It depends on the occasion. Because I said before, I just like it to look very simple and believable. But sometimes I really do, you know, do the extraordinary. So guys, if you want to see another video, your girl is down here. Just uh, just, 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 tell me, you know, just comment below and tell me. Alright, ladies.